sing, you sing. We are singing. Tracking the talker. Sitting nice and tall. Hands in our lap. Voices up. Thank you. Here's what we're doing in our week 18, day two video. Middle Academy scholars will be able to sing and move to Down Down Baby, discover a rhythm of the day, perform rhythms on bucket drums, and sing and listen to Day O. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is Down Down Baby. This is a review from, I don't know, a few weeks ago when we did it last. So everybody can stand up and find your own space. We're going to do this four times. First time through, we do it Largo. Second time, Andante. Third time, Allegro. Fourth time, Presto. Okay? So I to kick off my shoes, slide my chair out of the way, so I make sure I'm in a safe place to do it. All right. Largo. Crawling speed, very slow. Ready? Here we go. Down, down, baby, down by the roller coaster, sweet, sweet baby, I don't want to let you go. Shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop, shimmy, shimmy round, shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop, shimmy, shimmy break down. Two big kids sitting on a fence trying to make a dollar out of 65 cents. She missed, she missed, she missed like this. She missed, she missed, she missed like this. All right, let's bump it up to Andante, walking speed. So think about how fast I move when I walk about that speed. Ready? Here we go. Down, down, baby, down by the roller coaster. Sweet, sweet, baby, I don't want to let you go. Shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop, shimmy, shimmy round. Shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop, shimmy, shimmy break down. Two big kids sitting on a fence. Trying to make a dollar out of 65 cents. She missed, she missed, she missed like this. She missed, she missed, she missed like this. All right, bump it up to Allegro. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now whenever I figure out Allegro, think of how fast I walk. And then I go faster than that. Allegro, skipping speed, a brisk pace. Ready? Here we go. Down, down, baby, down by the roller coaster. Sweet, sweet, baby, I don't want to let you go. Shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop, shimmy, shimmy round. Shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop, shimmy, shimmy break down. Two big kids sitting on a fence, trying to make a dollar out of 65 cents. She missed, she missed, she missed like this. She missed, she missed, she missed like this. All right. Last one, Presto. Presto's quick running speed. So I'm just going to go as fast as I feel like we can do it. Ready? Here we go. Down, down, baby, down by the roller coaster. Sweet, sweet, baby, I don't want to let you go. Shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop, shimmy, shimmy round. Shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop, shimmy, shimmy break down. Two big kids sitting on the fence trying to make a doll out of 65 cents. She missed, she missed, she missed like this. She missed, she missed, she missed like this. Okay. Can relax, have a seat. Move my chair a little closer. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that was our movement activity. Next thing we're going to do is our rhythm of the day. And last time that we had our day one video, we learned a new sound. So I wanted to start with a quick review of the five different sounds that we've learned so far. So first, straight above my head. It's our half note, lasts for two beats. Next to it, going to the right, is a quarter note, lasts for one beat. Notice the difference between a half note and a quarter note. The only difference is that one is open, the half note is open head, and a closed head is the quarter note. Next to that, if we move further to the right, we have our 16th notes. Each head in that 16th note lasts for a quarter of a beat. Next one is our eighth notes. Each head of an eighth note lasts for half a beat. And then far at the end, the one that looks different from all the others, looks kind of like a weird three. It's our quarter rest that lasts for one beat also, but we don't make sound when we see it. 
So keeping all those in mind, here is our rhythm of the day. I've already written in the countings just to speed things along. The video for day one I thought was a little bit longer, so my goal is to make this all a little bit shorter than that. Okay, let's do it the way that's written in black first. That starts with a number two. So as I'm looking, half note lasts for two beats. That's why there's a number two underneath it. One, two. Then we have a quarter note. Quarter note lasts for one beat. That's why there's a number one underneath it. And then lastly, we have a set of eighth notes. Each head of the eighth note lasts for half a beat. So if we count this at an andante tempo, walking speed tempo, it would sound like this. Two, one, half, half, two, one, half, half, two, one, half, half, two, one, half, half. Okay, uh, let's try that together, but this time we're going to go a little bit faster. We'll add an allegro speed. Ready? Here we go. Two, one, half, half, two, one, half, half. Two, one, half, half, two, one, half, half, fine. All right, underneath that is the counting. If we were to count this in the fancy way, um, <clears throat> and that is one, the beat two is hidden inside of that half note because it lasts for two beats. The quarter note represents beat three, <clears throat> and that eighth notes are together, beat four. But since each of them lasts for only half a beat, we call the first head four, the second head and, okay? So I'm gonna say it a few times at just an andante speed. One, three, four, and one, three, four, and. <clears throat> Let's say that. When you hear what I'm saying and you can join me, uh, please do so. One, three, four, and one, three, four, and one, three, four and one, three, four and one, three, four and fine. Fine means the sound is done. <clears throat> All right, uh, we're gonna move on to our bucket drumming activity. You will need your drum, you will need, and, and you will need sticks. Now your drum can be, like we've said in the past, bucket, like the five gallon bucket that I use, an ice cream bucket, a cardboard box, could be a Tupperware or a Rubbermaid, um, could be like an old peanut butter jar if you got something like that. That would work. Drumsticks, I got mine, but you can use pencils, chopsticks, spoons, markers, pens, anything that's stick-like that you have two of. Okay, and a quick reminder, um, the things that we're learning in our bucket drumming today, this is now our fourth video, so if you have not yet watched uh, week 17, day one and two, and now week 18, day one, Please go back and do that because everything that we're doing today builds upon those last three videos. We are doing 10 videos all together for bucket drumming, is my plan anyway. Uh, okay, so here we go. If you need to pause the video and get your materials, please feel free to do so. <clears throat> last time, we uh, learned about our third sound. So I'm just gonna back up a little bit, get my drum in order. Um, the first is every time you see the note F on the staff, angle my computer. Um, you're gonna hit the head of the drum. There you go. The head of the drum. Uh, every time you see a C on the staff, you're gonna hit the rim of the drum, which is this little side edge that forms a circle on mine, but it might be the corner of your box or whatever you're playing. And every time you see an A on the staff, you hit the sides of the drum. So head, rim, sides. I think that it's sometimes hard to tell the difference between the rim and the side looking at them um, because they both look the same, but the rim is higher on the staff and the side is slightly lower on the staff. The side is an A, the rim is a C. And F has the stem pointing down, that's the head. Okay. F. I encourage you on your own to experiment with making your own sounds, making your own rhythms. I think that would be a really cool thing to do. Okay. Uh, make my body smaller. 
Okay, so this is uh, just a review from last time. We did this exact same one last time. I just copied and pasted it to a new slideshow for us. So every time we see that F, like I see in the very beginning of the first measure, we're going to hit the head of the drum. Uh, the next one I see is the letter C on the staff. So next I hit the rim. And then I see an A after that, and that is the side. Okay. Now, if you look underneath each of those notes, you'll see R, L, R. That's right, left, right. Um, in drumming, there's always some kind of pattern um, that you use. It's usually alternating, not always. If you do something called a paradiddle, sometimes you hit twice. Um, but for now, we're just going to focus on alternating back and forth. Okay? So. I'm going to do this one really slowly. I'd like you to do it with me if you can. And I'm going to say out loud what part of the drum that we are hitting as we do it. Okay? So I know the first part that I'm going to hit is the head, and I'm hitting it with my right hand. Here we go. Head, rim, side, rest. Head, rim, side, rest. Head, rim, side, rest. Uh, I think that the hardest part is when you get to the second measure, you have to start with your left hand because we're alternating back and forth. Okay, let's try that again a little bit faster. Ready? Here we go. Head, rim, side, rest. Head, rim, side, rest. Head, rim, side, rest. Let's do it faster. Ready? Here we go. Head, rim, side, rest. Head, Side rest, head, rim, side rest. A little faster. Uh, last time, feet ready. Here we go. Head, rim, side rest, head, rim, side rest, head, rim, side rest. Okay, uh, we're gonna do this one more time. I know I said it was just the last time, but I meant saying it that way. Uh, this time, we're gonna count instead of saying head, rim, side, we're gonna say one, two, three. That beat four is a rest, so I'm just gonna whisper it, or you can think it in your head. Uh, but we don't make sound when we see a rest usually. So, right hand on the head. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. If that was challenging for you, you can go back and reverse the video or you can pause the video and do it at your own speed. Um, a really great strategy is to always start a little bit slower and work your way faster. Um, usually people are more successful when they start slow and get faster as they go. Okay, uh, today we are going to learn a new sound, and that is called the stick click. Um, stick click, I think, is the easiest one to tell apart because it has a big old X. And a stick click is exactly what it sounds like. You click your sticks together. Okay? So if you want to practice that a little bit... I always think of like making an X with my sticks and I put them up above the drum. If you do it down here, you could accidentally smack your stick into the drum like I'm doing. So hold them up here above your head. These are high. I'm noticing that the stick click is on the C line. So it is on the same line as the rim, but this has an X and the rim will have the head of the note. So as I look at this exercise above, I see in the first measure we have four stick clicks in a row. One, two, three, four. Okay, the next measure I put four head hits. One, two, three, four in a row. And then the last measure alternates from click to head, click to head. Now, just like before, we have to alternate. So when we get to that second measure, you're going to go right, left, and in that last measure, you're going to stick, click, right, stick, click, left. Okay? So let's try it. If you make a mistake, no big deal. We're going to go nice and largo, very slow. Ready? Here we go. Click, 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 click. Head, 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 head. Click, head, click, head. Fine. Sound is done. Okay? Let's try the same thing a little bit faster. Really make sure you get the alternating down. I think the hardest part of this exercise is that very last measure. I'm getting that alternating click, right, click, left. OK? 
okay? You can't really alternate stick clicks. Like, don't try to switch back and forth. Just whatever hand is your dominant hand. If you're a left-handed person, it feels more comfortable to strike with your left hand or your right hand, whatever works best for you, okay? A little bit faster. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. A little faster. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I missed the drum when I did that last time. And that's okay. Uh, let's try this one really fast. Presto. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. If you were challenged by that, you need to pause the video and redo it. Or if you want to challenge yourself, go faster or do it slower or do something different, you can pause the video, do it on your own, and then rejoin us when you feel like you're finished. Okay, in this exercise, I on purpose didn't put right and left because I wanna see if this is starting to become ingrained in us, if it's something that um, we have muscle memory starting to build up for. Muscle memory is a very important part of making music, and that means that you do something without thinking about it so much. So I'm looking at these three measures. I'm noticing all three measures are the same. And it starts with a stick click. The next one is the head. I'm going to hit that with my right hand. Then I have a C on the staff, which is the rim. And then the last note of the measure is the side, an A on the staff. So it's always going to go stick, head, rim, side. Stick, stick, stick click head, rim, side. When I click, whatever one is dominant, hit it, that's good. And then you start right, left, right. And then you have to come right back up and do another stick click. Okay, let's try this exercise going at a largo tempo. Nice and slow. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, Fine. I on purpose tried to make it so I'm building kind of going high to low every time. Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it at an andante tempo. It's walking speed. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Allegro. Ready? Here we go. Allegro again because I felt like that problem that challenged me a little bit more than on Dante so I want to make sure if you're challenged at home that you're in a good spot to continue on ready here we go one two three four one two three four one two three four all right let's try presto if this is challenging for you and you need to pause here and practice at Allegro a few more times that's a-okay that's a great strategy Okay, so press two. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's gonna go fast. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Fine. That was alright. Let's do presto again. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Fine. Goes pretty quick when you get to presto. Okay. Um, so those are the four different sounds that we are gonna learn in our bucket drumming unit. Um, I'm just gonna click ahead for a second. Um, as we move forward with our bucket drumming unit, um, there are no other sounds. It's not like we're gonna do something weird like that. Um, those are the four sounds we need. The head of the drum, the rim of the drum, the side of the drum, and the stick click. So from here on forward in our next six lessons now, what we're going to be doing is building upon what we've already learned um, learning new rhythms, adding in eighth notes and sixteenth notes and rests and half notes, um, and then doing different combinations of those four sounds. So the first four videos of the ten videos that we're going to do for bucket drumming are like the basics, and now that we're moving forward, they're like 
practicing and exercising. Um, and as we go forward, I always, I, I never say practice makes perfect. Mm -mm. Practice makes progress. So as long as you feel like you're learning and you're getting better every time that we're doing it, great. If you mess up, that's okay. That if mistakes means that you're trying. I make mistakes all the time, like when I tried to hit the drum head and I missed <laughs> earlier today. No big deal. Okay. Uh, the last thing that I would like you to do today is on your own, you're going to listen to the song Deo. Uh, if you'd like to challenge yourself to sing it also, I think that would be great. Um, but I'm being very conscious of what, how long these videos are taking. So on your own, uh, I'll put a link in the description. Listen to this song Deo. Uh, and as you're listening, just tap the steady beat. I always do a two finger tap. Uh, some people like to feel the beat in their feet. So if it makes more sense for you, uh, you can march around the room or, you know, just put it on the background and click your tongue. However you want to tap the beat to yourself works for me. All right. We only have one thing left to do today, and that is to do our train exit. So breathe with me, Middle Academy. Here we go. Thank you for joining me for music and making music with me. I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you next week. Take care.